And in the locker room, all eyes on the prize. Everything they've been working toward this season culminates tonight. The fog pouring across the Golden Gate Bridge and into the Bay Area tonight. We're just about set for action. The playoff battle in the West starts off with a bang right here. Game one. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony. Chris Weber is here. Our sideline reporter, the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. And with us tonight, basketball expert Bill Simmons. Bill, you look great. Thank you for being here. I'd like to say hi to all the people who traded for Anthony Davis in the GM mode of this game to get him on their team when their real team couldn't pull it off. Congratulations. I can't believe you pulled the trade off. GA, it's all yours. Well, guys, Clay Thompson is capable of being a prototypical go-to guy, but his role in Golden State is more restrained. Clay said, I don't care. I get paid handsomely in a great place, and we compete for championships year in and year out. From day one, I've been a warrior. I'm just thankful to be here. Kevin, he likes to play ball and play with his dogs, and that's it. He loves playing there, D.A., and they love him. Thank you so much. Bill, some people feel Steph is already the second greatest point guard of all time. What would he need to do to pass Magic Johnson? Well, he's not. I, I don't think he needs to pass to Oscar Robertson first, I would say, who was incredible and was the best guard of the 60s. I don't know if he's a point guard, I guess would be my big argument with that. I always look at, at Steph like he's just a guard. So if you think about him in the context of the best guards ever, I think just doing what he's doing for three, four more years, now you start looking about him with Jerry West, Oscar Robertson, Kobe. I think Magic's a tough one because that guy was in the finals every single year. All the time. I thought he was one of the best five players I've ever seen in my lifetime. The flexibility he had, the ability to play any position, um, how much better he made his teammates. You've got Magic top five all time, overall. I had him fourth in my book. I put him over Bird, which killed me, but his, he just had a couple more years than Bird did. Bird got injured. Bird did a nine-year run. I have LeBron past Magic at this point, but I still think Magic's in the top five. And, um, is one of the great teammates of all time, too. I think him and Duncan will be remembered, and I think Curry's on this list, too. Those three guys are just great teammates. They made everybody better. They were completely unselfish and just cared about the team, and that was it. Now the starting group for the Denver Nuggets. Filling out the wings, Harris and Barton. Millsap and Jokic, the big men. And it's Murray in at the one spot. And for Golden State, Green and Cauley Stein are down low. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brother, in the backcourt. And it's Robinson in at the three spot. Bill, if you're building a franchise from scratch, which one current player would you begin with or build around? Probably Giannis, because he's he's still turning young 25 this year. I still feel like the ceiling of what he's going to do is go up as he becomes more of a shot maker. He's really durable, which I think is underrated. Like, he's just built to play basketball. Um, there's certain guys like that. I think Kevin Garnett was like that. Mm -hmm. Tim Duncan was like that. Just guys who we just know we're going to be around for 17, 18 years. The way I like to watch the running styles. And the game, the game just comes so easy to him. He's so athletic and really cares and is really competitive and just wants to do this and win and win at basketball. Um, that's how I think. Here's Carly Stein following the basket by Jokic. Gets the three-pointer to fall. This is where Curry does historical damage on the prolific and efficient from range. Here's Jokic, and there's another one for the Nuggets. They've come out with guns blazing. Four for five from the field. They've got the deep reel. Bill, you're a basketball historian. We know that. Um, do, do fans romanticize too much about the past? I would say the other way. I think they don't appreciate it enough, especially like uh, the millennials and Gen Z. You know you're out there. You're playing this game right now. They tend to think the league started when Kobe showed up and that the 90s and the 80s didn't happen. I sense a real resentment from the younger fans with the LeBron versus MJ thing because LeBron's their guy. They get to watch LeBron. They don't want to hear that MJ was better than them, so they make kids for LeBron and the way things are now. But what, what about like the Oscar Robertson, the Elgin Baylors? And we talked about oh, yeah. my goodness, you talk about some of these players. 
unbelievable. Yeah, he's Fantastic 60s, number. 70s, 80s. Oh. I think part of what hurts is people can go on YouTube and when you watch some of the older stuff, nobody's playing defense. Mm -hmm. At the bottom for two. Shooting two. At free throw missing, and the Warriors with some changes. Kevon Looney is checked in for Willie Cauley-Stein. Burks comes in for Thompson, and it's Russell in for Steph Curry. The Nuggets also changing it up. Plumley is checked in for Millsap. Grant comes in for Barton, and it's Beasley in for Harris. Good on the second free throw. And Bill, we've seen more and more teams base their offenses around three-point shooters. Threes are at an all-time high. We know that. Should the NBA, that in mind, do anything to address this via any, any rule change which I don't know what that would mean but but it has been talked about I don't like changing I think it's going to manifest itself if it doesn't work in the playoffs anymore. and teams are going to slowly realize like that you need to blend an inside outside game at least a little bit we can't lose with the game no, no, you, bigs and smalls it's inside it's outside and, and it's still passing and unselfishness the Warriors take a lot of threes but they're the most unselfish team we have, and they create a lot of layups, and they play, you know, they're really creative, and you just can't, that just can't be your thing as we shoot 53 Here's our offense. The problem is you're still going to get in these games where two points really matters, you know, and that's what you saw with Kawhi in the playoffs last mm -hmm. year. These games slow down. It's going to be a 92 to 89 ending, and your team needs to get 10 baskets in the fourth quarter, no matter how you're going to get them. You still need somebody who can do that, too. Alfonso McKinney's checked in for Robinson. The Nuggets also changing it up. Michael Porter, he's checked in for Jokic. And Monte Morris subbed in for Jamal Murray. I love the explosive energy of Green. A great competitor. He takes pride in dominating his opponent. And Porter, here we go. Sweet little floater. Bill, it's no secret that your heart lies in Boston. Just what was it like growing up in and around that area? Well, it's definitely the reason I like sports mm -hmm. as much as I do because it's so sports obsessed. A lot of it is cold weather stuff, I feel like, where there's five months a year that just stink, and then there's three other months that, you know, it's just smoking hot and humid. And so the sports makes everybody kind of crazy because you're crazy anyway. But um, there's nothing like being in Boston when something good's happening. Like Celtics making the NBA playoff run, or the Bruins making a cup run. The Red Sox in September when the Yankees are coming to town. The Saturday for a Patriots game. You can kind of feel it as the community of it. That's the difference between here and a place like LA. It, it's formed you as a profession. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, a former five-star recruit. We know about the talent level for Porter, but he's also a mature, hard-working guy. Now, here is Russell. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Passes to Green. Got a piece of it. Four on the shot clock. Looney passes to Green. Over to the left wing. Here's Russell. No good. Shot missing. And it's Denver the other way. Morris looking over the floor. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. The Nuggets have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. seconds left to play in the first and again it's the Warriors missing that's to Beasley 
We've got 22 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Plumley, and he can't bank that one in. Pass to McKinney. Right side, Green. He kicks it to Russell. Offline from the top of the key. And so the first quarter is in the books. And we're on top, up by five. Live from Chase Center, you're watching 2K Sports. Steph Curry talks about the visual drills he does to help his playmaking in the NBA. It's a cognitive and neurological drill that helps you, one, takes your mind off the basketball. Um, because when you're in a game, that should be the last thing you're thinking about. There's so many other variables out there that you have to kind of survey, you know, where your defender is, where your teammates are, where you are in relation to the basket and your reaction. So um, those lights kind of train you in that, that regard. You have to, you know, see what the color is, make a, a determination of what move that, that corresponds to, make execute the move, and then finish the jumper. The improvement he's made, Greg, in his ball handling has really unlocked his game. I mean, able to keep his head up as he attacks off the dribble, read the defense, and drills like that can only help. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in score for us. And what stands out to you from the Nuggets in this one? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, how many coaches say, we want to start fast? Now, let's see if they can maintain that intensity. Green down low with Looney. D'Angelo Russell out there with Alec Burks. And it's McKinney in at the small forward. That's the Warriors' five. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. We see this all too often. You have to be willing to play. Here's Porter. He has seven. Beasley dishes to Porter. The Nuggets need to get a shot off here. Beasley, the pass to Grant. Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. It's a very aggressive defense to prevent the easy lane. Outside, Russell. And the pass to Green. And it's sent back by Plumley, And he gets it back. On its way from Birch for two. And it's Denver with the rebound. And Bill, over a quarter of today's NBA players were born in a country other than the United States. The talent is that broad all over the globe. And Giannis was born on another planet. Mm -hmm. We don't know what planet he, is he was. otherworldly. It was an Earth. I think he just got <laughs> dropped from some satellite. Oh. Um, yeah, this all starts with I the, love it, too. Don't, don't you? I love the I fact do. we've got players from Latvia and Greece and all over. What's cool about it is they, they all kind of have distinct identities and quirks. And one of the things that makes somebody like Doncic so much fun to watch is he's not like anybody else like he's close to James Harden but he's also that step back three that he was taking that he's been making his whole life other than Harden nobody was even really shooting it that way you know and I think there's an unselfishness with the European guys that is really useful for the way the Americans stop 100% agree they really guys move without the ball mm -hmm. give and go and it's not just like clear out on up. yeah and I like Russell's ability to create for others. He does what's best for the team. Back to Murray. A handful of players land the Supermax contract bill. By and large, how do you see those deals working? It's tough. You, nobody's really been happy with it yet. You know, it's so much money and it's such a big part of somebody's salary cap. And you're just kind of handicapped with it. And we've seen John Wall is the worst case scenario of it. But the situation Charlie was in Kemba Walker, where he makes the All-NBA team and now his Supermax is $240 million right. instead of one eight. Like, that's crazy. And in a salary cap league, to pay $50 million a year for somebody is just nuts. It compromises the ceiling of the team. So the Bucks are going to be in this position, to be honest, where he's making $55 million a year and the cap's 120 How are you going to put a good team around You can't maneuver. Him? You can't. So I, I would put a wrinkle in there that I would make the super max, whatever, pay the player, whatever the number is, but it only counts for like $32 million or something. Make it so that it's not for A percentage of the total cap. Yeah, yeah. make his cap figure is 32 
even if you're paying him 55 and then that way people could compete better. No good on the free throw. Bill, you look at the awards given out by the league. Most have been around for a while. But is there any award that you'd like to add? Something that's not being uh, touched on in terms of, of high performance and, and, uh, and success? I think that there should be a playoff MVP. I made this case like in that my idea. book. That's that a great idea. There's always like a best guy in every postseason, and I would like to see who that would be. And it's pretty easy to go backwards and figure out who it was. I did that. Um, just go backwards and have all the backstory of who it should have been, but then going forward, not here are the ones we're adding. I would like to see that. Um, I would also like to see a best bench celebration award. Because certain teams just have these guys, they're good at pointing, they're good at fist pumping, first guy during the timeout running over. Chest bumps. They have handshakes. Oh, yeah. uh, they're waiting at the scores table before the game to do the special handshake with each guy. I feel like that guy deserves some shine. Uh, last year, DeAndre Jordan, I think, was one of the first guys I remember who was just great at this before he started playing. Late 2000s clips. I was like, man, this guy's really, he's not playing, but he's, yeah, he's really trying to yeah. affect the game. Good. I like that. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. the second from the line. Denver with the ball. Harris dishes to Millsap. Passes it to Murray. Three-pointer. You can't get that one to fall. Curry with some nice D. Thompson passes to Curry. Outside for Robinson. And again, no good by Golden State. The Nuggets leading by nine. Murray surveying the D. Goes up the baseline, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. And entertaining as always, Bill, thank you so much for stopping by. We always appreciate your time. Thank you. Just, I don't want to do any Celtic games. Can you not do that? I don't want to see that team. Let's do the other team. <laughs> You know, Greg, Bill Simmons has worn so many hats as a writer, a podcaster, a broadcaster. Now, it's nice to let him wear one more on our broadcast. He's been successful for a reason, Kevin. There's a fearlessness, but also great humor in his perspective. Timeout called the Warriors. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Without question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks, a trend that they'd like to reverse. McKinney's checked in for Kevon Looney. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. They trail by nine points. From deep three-point range, it's hauled in by Harris. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Oh, trying to take advantage of that extra space on the perimeter. Oh, we see a lot of this now. Now here is Harris. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Six to shoot. His first shot coming late. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got four assists now tonight. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Curry passes to Thompson. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Thompson's got five points so far. This is what makes Curry special on the offensive end. The ability to create for himself and others at the highest level of the game. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Outside Millsap. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Thompson finds Curry. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. I like seeing that kind of sharp passing. Thompson making sure they get the best shot possible. No good on the last second attempt there. That'll do it for the first half. Nuggets lead by six.
And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Here with Coach Mike Malone. How has ball movement opened up things for you offensively? Every game we have where we get into a one-on-one -on -one game, over-dribbling, not passing, we become very easy to guard. Uh, the good thing about tonight is the ball is moving. We're trying to make plays for each other. Uh, when we move the ball, we get high percentage shots, which is all we can ask for. Thanks very much for your time, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, you will not find an empty seat here tonight. Welcome to our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet, Shaquille O'Neal. You looking for an empty seat? Yeah. You're sitting here. only three of us. Right, and, they're, and the seats are all full. Okay. Oh, you meant in the arena. Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. For the Nuggets, they've put themselves in decent shape to grab that all-important Game 1 victory. So far, they've clearly been the better team controlling the flow. By no means is it a runaway, but they've put themselves in a great position. Kenny, your thoughts on the Nuggets' first half? Well, their reserves showed up tonight. Not just on hustle plays, but in points. And that's what you got to do coming off the bench to maximize your minutes. Shaq, how'd you think the Warriors were playing? Their defense has been practically non-existent. Sure, they're facing a team that got hot. You can even say a bit lucky at times. But no one is stepping up on D and taking anything away. Have some pride. Don't let a guy shoot like that in your face. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Let's go to Kevin Harlan. Round one, thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. One guy who's been getting it done is Michael Porter. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with within the first few quarters. Yeah, the offense looks crisp, and guys are hitting their shots. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Second half underway. Here's who Mike Malone's got on the floor. Will Zapp and Jokic, the big men. The backcourt is Murray and Harris. And it's Barton in at the three. Al Barton after the missed three from Stephen Kirk. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Well, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent it. Some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. The Warriors making the shot. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Thompson outside. Outside, green. Golden State moving the ball around. Count it, and the Nugget lead has been cut down now to just two on the basket from Stephen Kerr. Taking the hit, still making them pay. Steph with tremendous time. Now, here's Jokic. Five points in the game. And when he rises up, he knows he's probably going to get a clean look. It's a matter of executing. Oh, yeah. It's got to be nice to have that combination of height and skill. You know you can get your shot off pretty much against anything. Now Harris after the miss three from Clay Thompson. That one no good. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. And the shot is good. The Denver lead has been cut down now to just two points with that basket from Curry. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. And, and team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, and, and sometimes, Greg, it's the most subtle moves that make the biggest difference. He's 
check in for the Warriors. D'Angelo Russell comes in for Thompson. Big group substitution here for Denver. Plumlee is checked in for Jokic. Jeremy Grant comes in for Paul Milson. Porter's checked in for Will Barton. And Morris subbed in for Jamal Murray. Now here's Plumlee. No points in the game yet for him. Six on the shot clock. Harris finds Morris. Fires from the line. And that's good for two. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. I mean, the D is worrying too much about the other four guys. I mean, they can't give him open jump. Russell dishes to Curry. Out left of the wing from 15 feet away. Count it. And the Nugget lead has been cut down now to just two on the basket from Russell. Cognizant of the entire court. Russell aware of where the defenders are and really does a great job creating opportunities. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Now, here's Curry. 13 points in the game. And, yes, it's good. Curry's got 15 points. And after an abysmal first half from the field, the shot's now starting to fall. Porter against Burks. Fires from 14, and it's Denver scoring again. I mean, he's out there on an island all by himself. I mean, good job to stay cool and tranquil. Curry picks the Russell. Offline with his three. Now, you don't see that very often. A wide open three is usually like a layup for him. Here's Morris. It's not going to go for him. Nice D from Russell. Green, the pass to Curry. From deep, an absolute bomb from three-point range. Curry's got nine points here in the second half. Morris outside. Outside Harris. Busts the J after the KG pass fake. Harris has got six in the quarter. Warriors trail by three. Outside Russell. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And, and having added strength to his wiry frame, Russell able to convert through contact there. Draw the foul. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Some changes for Golden State. Kevon Looney is checked in for Carly Stein. And Alfonso McKinney is subbed in for Burks. Denver also making some changes. Millsap comes in for Porter. And it's Beasley in for Gary Harris. That one drops. He ties it up. He and a lottery pick often comes with high expectations. But Russell has shaped into a quality NBA player. It's stolen by Green. Four on three as they bring it up. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, the defender all over. The Warriors have missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Marie's checked in for Denver. So he gets them both. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. 106 left in the third quarter of the game. That one goes. Count it. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Back to Curry. The shot's good. Curry's got the lead up to two now for the Warriors. He's been terrific from the field so far this half. And he's driving his percentage. Good. Murray, good. And if you don't get out on Murray, he will light you up from beyond. He's lethal. And stolen by Murray. The 17-footer. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. And now it's a three-point nugget lead. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Curry against Murray. A 
Russell with a wide open look. They get it again. It's good on the putback. And folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that back hook. And here is Murray. Takes the three. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. The sheer disruptiveness of Green. I mean, one of the many reasons he was named first team NBA all defense in 2015. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Nuggets ahead, leading by just one. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from San Francisco. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. This is how you quarterback an offense. He sees and anticipates what the defense is doing. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. McKinney and Green at the three and the four. Clay Thompson is out there with Russell, and it's Looney in at the five. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Now, here is Russell, following the miss by Jokic. Murray against Russell. Ball's not loose. Jokic with the steal. It's Parton with the drive, and Parton throws it down. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right, and that's severe punishment right there. <laughs> oh, you're right, and I love the opportunistic approach. These kinds of hustle plays can be dangerous. Now here's Martin. Green with the block. And good anticipation by Draymond. I mean, he always gets in position for these clean swats like this. Thompson, good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And, and there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Jokic with it. Looney on him. Outside for Millsap. Just five to shoot. Beasley with it. Picked up by Thompson. And the foul on Jamal Murray. That is his first foul of the game. Going the other way. And the Warriors with some changes. Billy Cauley Stein comes in for Looney. And Glenn Robinson, the third, is up in for Alfonso McKinney. The Warriors trailing. Russell is just a green. Barton against Robinson. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Jokic. Oh, this is great to see from Willie Collins. Stein showing a willingness to be more aggressive on offense. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. All right, the defensive specialist, Kali Stein, is an effective part of this rotation. Now, he must evolve his offensive game more. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. The Nuggets have gone 1 of 5 from the field here in the fourth. A lot of this is just the one name. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Updated from the sideline. Let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey guys, will Mike Malone talk to his team during that last timeout? 
He said, look, you guys are playing physical, and I like that, but it has to be under control. He's committed way too many fouls. He's allowed way too many foul shots. Kevin? Thank you, David. Pass to Jokic. Goes up on the elbow. That shot is off. Golden opportunity that he can't make good on. Maybe a wake-up call to the D, though. They can't leave him alone like that. Feeds it to Green. Back to Kohler Stein. And it's sent back by Jokic. And pushing it up. Here's Denver. And Burton throws it down. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. Now, here is Russell. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And so here's Denver. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. To the paint. And there's Millsap. That's good on the assist by Murray. Murray's got five assists tonight. And they count on Millsap to deliver in these big moments. And there he does. Now here's Thompson. There's Russell with the three. And that's Jokic with the rebound. Jokic has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Murray kicks to Beasley. And the foul on Glenn Robinson. That's his first foul. And the Warriors making a change here. Curry's checked in. Gary Harris, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Oh, he hasn't been much of a shot blocker in his career, but Clay denies that. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Oh, the timing couldn't have been better on that assist. Here's Murray. To Jokic. Here is outside. Murray outside. Here's Jokic. No good. Great D that time from Green. Thompson passes to Kerr. Here's the floater. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Denver in the lead. It's stolen by Green. And it's the Warriors. On the break, Curry's got the ball. Well, he's been doing this since back in the day, since back in college. Curry's one of the most clutch performers we have, really, in any sport. Now, here's Jokic. Jokic draws the double. Here's Millsap. Yes! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. That's why they put the ball in his hands. They know they can count on him to make his shots. Murray against Curry. Launches a three. Laces one from three. Big bucket. That's how you do it if you step Curry. Denver calls timeout. They trail by three. There's 45 seconds left in the game. There's 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 
What a big possession right here. No doubt about it, guys. The tension is palpable. Green, no luck. This isn't a done deal yet, but they have got to move quick. Oh, you're right. Time is of the essence. You got to move. Murray against Kirk. Pocket six. No shot trying to get open. That shot, no good. Great T that time from Green. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Here's Curry. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. the first one and that gives them a four-point cushion and what you admire about Philly is how easily the game comes to him but he's earned it he worked so hard he can play with such a carefree attitude but with a chance to ice the game he's got perfect focus at the line now you could put this one in the books time call here the Nuggets decide to talk it over they're trailing by five 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter guys what's your take uh, trying to stay alive. They've got to work quickly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, time is of the essence. Basket and the foul. It's got to be the game plan. Here's Jokic. And again, Denver no good. And that's an intentional foul. This is the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. No good at the strike this time. And second, this is also. From deep three-point range, can't get it to fall. So we see the Warriors get the win here. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Steph, everyone knows you do a lot of different things for this team, but what would you say your primary focus is? We're trying to just take uh, responsibility in my defensive uh, duties. Watching the point guard, uh, force them in a different situation, difficult shots. Being our first you know, line of defense, uh, is that bringing the ball up, putting pressure on them, and try to take them out their offense. That's a lot of great point guards in this league, so I got to be able to do that all year and uh, try to get a good start to that this season. That's what franchise players do, play at both ends. Thank you, Steph. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alt. this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.